And terrifying. It's horrifying. I'm so sorry. It's It's overwhelming. It's really hard. Hey, what's up, everyone? Jazz Gonzo here. Another episode of What's Next? Happy Monday. Well, we start off a new week, hopefully on a good foot, a high note. Well, that ended just now. But anywho, um, when Holly Woke opens their mouths and starts spouting off political garbage, because, of course, they have no common sense, nor can they critical think. You know, they only group think. They can't think individually. This is what you expect. But when one of them steps out of line, when one of them decides, hey, you know what? There's a lot of shite going on here, and um, maybe I should say something about it. Well, when you go against the narrative, you go against the establishment, the woke takes notice. Of course, wokeism took notice when... Celebrity boxer Jake Paul opened his mouth regarding Dementia Boy and slamming him. Yeah, let the fun begin. Let's take a look. This comes out of Outkick. Jake Paul breaks silence on President Joe Dementia's record. Voters, you are the American problem. Yes, you 81 million voters. A record for the most ethically and honest election in our nation's history. You are the problem. Thought leader and celebrity boxer Jake Paul finally broke his silence on dementia's lackluster record improving the quality of life in America. Paul addressed key points trending in the wrong direction for Biden's administration, including ballooning inflation, insufferable gas prices, a sharp dip in crypto to the moon, and more. He set himself up for a fight by calling out the voters that placed Biden's uh, that placed Biden in office, dubbing them the American problem. Paul tweeted. Biden's accomplishments, high gas prices, worse inflation, plummeting crypto prices, high rent prices, ever creating new incomprehensible language. Yes, jibba jabba. If you're uh, reading this thing and voted for Biden and you still don't regret it, then you are the American problem. But of course, they just couldn't let that go. No, not one Washington Post journalist, yes, she stands at the urinals all the time. Taylor Lorenz, yes, miss. Oh, I'm suffering from PTSD. <laughs> They're picking on me. <laughs> yes, that Taylor Lorenz chimed in on Paul's critique. Jake Paul's third biggest critique of administration is the price of crypto going down. So of all things, she points out the crypto prices. You would think that she would have pointed out the American problem. But then again, we are talking someone uh, like Taylor Lorenz, who has very little brain cells and who has the attention capacity of goldfish. Paul's words still hit hard with the American people as the inflation rate jumps to 8.6%, the highest in 45 years. Gas prices reach a nationwide high of $5 a gallon. Go to Washington State, they're pushing 10 uh, $6.46 in Los Angeles County. Americans desperately search for figures with a platform to shed light on the pressure issues as the Biden administration puts forth no applicable solution months into the increase. Now, we go from that to this only because I wanted to piggyback. And of course, the uh, top 10 screw-ups of Joe Dementia. But of course, this comes out of left-wing rag uh, website, The Griot. You'll notice a theme as I go through these. According to the people who didn't pay attention in sixth grade civics class, the president apparently is responsible for everything. And if you're under 40, then you know Barack Obama was the worst president in history, unless you count Ronald Rossist Reagan. See where I'm going? Or George Crack Desk Bush, Bill the Mass Incarcerator Clinton, George the Dumb One Bush, or Donald Moore Rossist Trump. Bipartisanship. What happened to reaching across the aisle shortly after GOP party leaders decided to let people in, let people in the Democratic run states die of Corona? Yes, Democratic run states. Fact. 
gerrymandered election maps in favor of the GOP, and pleaded for Republican state legislatures to challenge election results, Senate Majority Leader Sing Along with Mitch called out Dementia Boy for not seeking bipartisan solutions. The Children Since Joe Dementia became uh, president, schools have closed. True. White kids are being attacked by critical racist theory. True. More and more kids are falling for the gay agenda. True. He doesn't care about the rights of parents whose religious convictions tell them to discriminate. Really? Where? He rejects the advice of pediatric medical experts like Joe Rogan and Rand Paul. Clown. He had marginalized fake historians and patriots who love Confederate traitors in favor of schools teaching historical truths. Of course, he puts in a little caveat. The question does not include uh, non-white children who feel bad because their history is ignored or trans children made up who face discrimination and children who don't want to catch the coof. Voting. Joe Dementia stole the presidency. I'm going to leave that right there because we all know the facts. Crime. Why has crime spiked under dementia? Of course, Democratic-run states, Democratic governors, Democratic mayors. There you go. Uh, Ukraine. $40 billion, anyone? Let's move on. The coronavirus. Joe Dementia didn't create the coup and neither did Trump. All Biden did was pay attention more to the science. Yeah, you know, Lord Farquhar. He didn't suggest alternatives like hydrochloroquine, which turns out to be a therapeutic. He didn't hold super spreader events. No, that would be Barack Obama. And he didn't hold a daily, and he didn't uh, ramble uh, daily briefings, which of course he did. Beats with mayors and governors about how masks weren't cute. And yes, dementia deserves criticism, massive amounts. He phoned the ball all the time. And of course, he mishandled the unprecedented pandemic. Unprecedented means never mind. That's Joe Dementia. Freedoms. There's one thing Republicans love, it's freedoms. Back when America was great, a rebel-led American male could walk around spreading hate and conspiracy theories and deadly viruses, but under Dementia's new woke agenda, everyone is racist, homophobic, or a bigot. Fact, fact, and fact. Race relations. America is not a racist country. No, no one said it was. It is. Joe Biden loves playing the race card, which he does. Identity politics and race baiting, which he does. Uh, his divisive agenda against a fractured country along racist lines were erased by Barack Obama's presidency. Mm, no, because the country was more divided under Barack Obama than it is now. And that's a fact. He has demonized white people. True. The police. True. And black leftists want handouts. True. Uh, Joe Dementia uh, didn't shoot Breonna Taylor. True. He didn't shoot Omar Bari or kneel on George Floyd's neck. Yes, but of course, they are. I'm sorry, St. George Kirby. Bow your heads, everyone. Uh, he is a political tool. He is a hammer of the, uh, on a pale and on those pliers or a white man who people voted for because he wasn't Trump. That's right. Joe Dementia is just a man. Thank you, Barack Obama. But Jake Paul, he's right. Now, the situation grew crypto. He could have picked a myriad of other things like two and a half million illegals. Uh, coming into the country, cutting off the Keystone Pipeline bill, $85 billion of American military equipment left to the towel heads in Afghanistan, and so forth, and so forth, and so on. You could easily do a book about how many clusterfuck Dementia Boy has had his hand in. But for one tale of the wrens, surprisingly, to just pick out the crypto comment instead of saying, hey, sun's hot, water's wet. I don't believe in those things. What about climate change? Huh? Talk about that. One Jake Paul, celebrity boxer, please tell us. No, Taylor Renz went, uh, surprisingly, she went with the easiest thing to pull out that wasn't factually true. Mm. Now, regarding my comments of the leftist, uh, that leftist website, the Grio, and of course, everything there was, of course, a leftist slant royally. Because, of course, this clown who wrote the article for Grio thinks that Joe Dementia is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Well, guess what? He must have had his head shoved so far up his ass over the last two years. Kind of hard to see the truth from that point of view.
And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is What's the Next. If you want to see more just like this, please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.